What other chances of finding intelligent life in space has got to be one of the most discussed issues about space, but also one of the most difficult to answer in an accurate manner. With the vastness of space, even if it's not actually an infinite extent of space, the probability of intelligent life being out there isn't really the problem. But rather, if it is out there, is it close enough and existing at the same time as our civilization for us to make contact with them? The best and possibly also the worst solution is the Drake equation. It's the best since it allows you to input all the variables and its heart is so simple that anyone can put their own values and find an answer. It's also the worst since it's too varied and it's subject to too much speculation and really doesn't come to an exact conclusion. However, the equation itself is the number of communicating civilization which relates to the rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars that have planets, the fraction of those planets which could support life, the fraction of those which actually develop life, the fraction of those with life that actually go on to develop intelligent life, and the fractions of those civilizations which come detectable, and finally, the length of time that these civilizations remain detectable. The first group of numbers becomes easier to calculate with time, and projects like um, Kepler identifying planets will soon have a very accurate number of the actual planets which could support life. That leaves us for the last few. Will the planet develop life? Debatable question, but it's certain life has developed on Earth. It's possible that actually life has developed on other planets within our solar system. So I think it's highly likely that life can develop independently on other planets in other solar systems. The odds on it? I'll put it at more than 50%, but being accurate on that difficult to be say, say so for certain. Will the life become intelligent? With evolution it's almost certain that any life form given billions of years will develop to the stage of say chimpanzees, dolphins, dogs, that order of intelligence. That's almost a given. Whether it will develop the advanced tool making uh, abilities that humans have is a little bit more difficult to, to decide. Again, I would put this more on the order of 25% of those planets which develop life would develop an intelligent tool using uh, civilization. Now, will that civilization develop things like radio telecommunication, space travel, or something similar. We've seen that the development on our own planet has happened very rapidly. Once you develop an intelligent species, the progression is very rapid. The key factor, however, is stopping from a hunter-gatherer type species into a farming settled species. I think that's almost a certainty. I would go as far to put that at something like an 80% chance that having intelligent life will develop into a settled life, develop advanced civilizations, and then the progression very rapidly from uh, an agricultural system through to um, space communication very rapid. Now, the real key bugbear for a lot of these uh, formulas is how long will the civilization last. A lot of people theorize that once you've become an advanced civilization you then develop weapons, uh, biological starvation, or, uh, threats from outside, uh, meteorites, all kinds of things can disrupt and destroy civilizations. Some people put it as long 
uh, as just a hundred years that an advanced civilization may still communicate beyond its solar system. I think this is highly dubious. We've seen civilizations fall many times on our Earth, and yet always there's been something that's come again, has built, rebuilt, advanced. The, when a civilization falls, it's only a, a very temporary measure. There's always been something else that's come back better and stronger and gone further than before. So I think the hundred years hypothesis for the last of an uh, enduring civilization is way too pessimistic. I would put it more like 10 million years. That's how long I think the average civilization is going to last before either it destroys itself or some outside force comes in and destroys it. Those are my views. What are yours? Can you put something together for yourself for the Drake Equation?